Hola, I should say. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to mispronounce dozens of words. So please take pity on me, probably including the word hola. So I'm here. So how many people here? Of course, you all know about TED.com. You watch videos. You all know about TEDx by definition. You're here. But how many people, by show of hands, have heard of the TED Fellows Program? Yep, that's pretty typical. <laughs> that's why I'm here. So the TED Fellows Program brings together young innovators to ignite their careers and make them part of a dynamic peer social network that can save their lives. They come from all disciplines, technology, entertainment, and design, uh, science, humanities, and the arts, NGOs, uh, venture-backed startups, human rights organizations, photojournalists, filmmakers, and on and on and on. And in fact, Skylar Tibbetts is a fellow, and Matt Kenyon is a fellow. Um, we, right now, we have 378 fellows over the last uh, six years from 86 countries, but only two Spaniards. So I'm here to change that. So let's meet some fellows. So this is the work of conceptual artist Jorge Mañez Rubio, who is, I, I can never say this word, Madrigeno, sort of. I, Apologize. Um, uh, but he's here in, uh, in Madrid. Um, he's an amazing. This is Gabriela Gomez Mont. She founded for the mayor of Mexico City an a ideas and innovation laboratory. And I, I promise you it's the only one in the big city in the world. Um, this is Marcela Uliana da Silva. She is a geneticist. She's working against a predatory species that, if it invades the Amazon, will disrupt the entire ecosystem there. Those are not the kind of muscles you want to eat. Uh, Erica Banyarella is from Costa Rica. She just released her first feature film. Uh, it's called um, Prima Enero, uh, or January 1st. And it's about Sebastian, the boy on the left, who is trying to undo a crime he inadvertently set in motion. Um, and then uh, Camilo Rodriguez Beltran runs, um, he's director of an innovation laboratory of the Universidad del uh, desarrollo in uh, Concepcion, Chile. Okay, I've got the hard ones out of the way. Um, and this is Xavier uh, Villalta, who is an architect. He draws inspiration from mathematical fractals and also from extreme environmental care. So his buildings don't use many resources after they built. In fact, let's hear a little bit more from Xavi. To be a TED Fellow is for me to be part of a community of innovators from all over the world where each one of them is pushing the boundaries of their disciplines and sometimes even crossing the limits of them. Being part of this community, you feel supported and motivated to keep going with what you are doing and they support and guide you to find the best way to make reality your projects and you learn how to communicate better your projects to the world. Going to the TED conference in California was a great experience and I had a lot of fun, but at the same time I felt really, really small in the middle of these amazing people. I still stay involved with the program through our Facebook page, where all the fellows, they share what they are doing and where they are nowadays. Being a TED fellow has made me grow personally, meeting amazing friends from all over the world, which has opened my mind, seeing things in different perspectives and from different cultures. I think more Spaniards should apply for the program because there is so much talent in Spain and I think we should be more represented in one of the most important innovation platforms of the world, if not the most important. My last advice is that I invite you to be part of the group because it's a great experience. What we're looking for for the program is amazing achievement and exemplary character. And what do I mean by that? You can't just have done something amazing. You also have to be an extraordinarily good person. And because we've spent so much time working on both of those characteristics, we have a community uh, that really likes each other, that really gets along and really collaborates. Um, we have 45% women since the beginning of the program, which is amazing compared to any other program. But this year, we were able to achieve more women than men in our class in 2015. And we're keeping working on getting to 50-50 all the time. Um, we're looking for people who are 21 to 45, although if you're 18, you're good, um, in the first half of their careers. Folks who are already well established, we can't really do very much for them as much. And what do you get 
OK, a lot of people ask me this question. OK, so you get round trip, uh, all expenses paid, tour to TED in Vancouver, a two-day pre-conference. You get to speak on the TED stage. You get to be considered for TED.com of the speakers, uh, fellow speakers from March. 70% of them are on TED.com. That can get you millions of video views, and that can change your life because people call you and like, how can I help? Um, you also get coaching, mentoring, PR console, and being part of an incredibly active online network that helps each other. And let me tell you a little bit about what's happened. Um, so these results, not typical, but people have gotten millions of dollars in investment in their startups. Millions of dollars con contributed to their NGOs because of our program. Millions of dollars in academic funding, prizes, awards, collaborations, uh, people starting companies together, artistic collaborations together. Uh, and basically, having TED uh, fellows on your resume means you can open the door places where you couldn't open the door before. So it's considered very prestigious and will help you in your career. And OK, so how? I hope I've now convinced you that you want to tell your friends or apply yourself to be a TED fellow. How do you do it? It's very simple. It's free. Uh, it's very short form on TED.com. Everybody is welcome. And as I said, we uh, really try hard on being welcome to everybody. And so what's going on right now is that we actually happen to have a cycle open for next year. So if you want to apply, you go to TED.com slash fellow. That's TED.com slash fellows. And please tell all your nerdy friends that have inventions and you know, uh, really sexy films and stuff like that. Please tell them <laughs> to apply as well. Um, oh, by the way, I should forget, uh, two of the other outcomes, we've had two marriages and a baby. So uh, we, I don't expect that to be the last baby, but I'm not sure for that from the same couple. Um, OK, and if you have questions about this, it's fellows at TED.com. You can email us. And we want you to tell your friends. We want you to nominate folks. Just email fellows at TED.com with a person, why are they cool, and an email address. We'll reach out to them. And of course, we really want you to apply. So here's the thing. This has been open for four weeks now. And therefore, it's coming to a close very soon. But I thought I would be really a dickhead to come to Spain and say, sorry, you only have a tiny bit of time to apply for this program. So we've extended it. So for people who are Spanish and live elsewhere, or people who live in Spain, you can go up to the 25th of September. So now I'm going to show you a um, video of the cult of the TED Fellows. It's just an extract, um, never been seen before, from our event two weeks ago, our biannual uh, TED Fellows retreat. Um, the first, it, it's going to look to you like it's a combination of a music concert and a really bad talent show. And it is a really good talent show, and there is quite a lot of drag, but I thought you guys could handle it. So thank you very much. I hope you all applaud. Uh, sorry, I hope you all apply for a TED Fellowship. Ask me about it. Uh, when, I'm, it, when I'm out there afterwards, if you have any questions, let's play that last clip. Thank you very much.